Hey, what's going on, guys? So I just want to do a quick video on how to make collection offers. I've um, I've had a lot of people ask questions about this. And in case you're familiar to NFTs or you really don't know too much, we're just going to I'm going to show you how you can make a collection offer. If you don't know what a collection offer is, um, if you think about eBay, it's kind of like where someone could post something for sale and you can either buy it or you can make an offer on it. So Offer collection is the same exact thing for an NFT. You can put in the price that you want to pay for it or what you would like to pay for it. And the person that's selling it can either accept it or not. So let's get into it. So first thing you're going to see, I'm on OpenSea right now. And we're going to take a look at a collection that's trending right now. And you'll see that when you go to the OpenSea page, you'll see trending, right? These are projects that have a lot of sales going on right now, high volume. And this one's actually a good one to take a look at. It's Katara. Um, it's actually a cool project. It's trending like crazy. Yesterday it was at 0 0.04. Then last night it was at 0 0.09. And right now it's sitting at 0 0.2. So it's going, it's going up in value um, in just a short period of time. And you can see over here, you have the unique owners. That's 40% of people own this, which that's a that's a pretty good number um, to think about when, you, when you're looking at a collection to buy. That means there's more hands in the pot. Um, so right here, you'll see that the floor price is 0.2. Okay, that is the very bottom. And as you can see, this is the first one that comes up for sale. And then from here, it just keeps on going up in value. 0 0.2 is a lot of 0.2s. And then 0.21. 0 0.214, 0 0.22, and so on. Now, you'll, you'll notice this right over here, which is best offer. Now, a best offer is somebody putting an offer on the collection, um, which you can make a collection offer right here. And what you're doing actually is you're putting in an offer for the entire collection, not to buy the entire collection, but to put in an offer on the entire collection, meaning say if I put 0.18, that means that it goes to every single NFT out there, every single owner, and they can choose to accept it. Now, if they do, that means that I would pay 0.18 for it, and then I would be sitting with my new NFT, and then that and then that offer would just it would go away. So before you make an offer on a collection, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go over to your wallet over here. And in your wallet, you can transfer your ETH to wrapped ETH. And you just do it just like that. You would push the three buttons and then you would go to wrap. Now, when you go to wrap, what it's going to do is you can take the amount of ETH in your wallet and then you can tr you can convert it to um, wrapped ETH, which, you know, you see I have 0 0.09 over here. So you would just type in the decimals of what it is that you want to convert to wrapped ETH. So say if it's 0 0.08, it's just showing you that you're going to swap 0 0.08 ETH and in return, you're going to get 0 0.08 in wrapped ETH. And then you would push wrapped ETH. I'm not going to do it, but this is a simulation. This is just a, an extra safety protocol that I have. It's called Pocket Universe. And it shows that that's exactly what I'm getting. I'm trading my ETH and in return, I'm getting my wrapped ETH. So I'm going to reject that. Now, once I have my wrapped ETH, then I can go over to the collection and I can make a collection offer right here. So as you can see, it will show you the best offer is 0.199. So I can go lower than that if I want to. I could go 0.1 five so to say and if the if the value of the nft drops and people start purchases you know pe the the offers start to go through then eventually it will go to yours so you would just click on make an offer and then you would just be sitting waiting for somebody to actually accept your offer and it's simple as that. Now you also can go to offer expiration. 
right here. So you could do a one day. So your offer is good for one day, or you could do three days, or you can even do a custom date. So you can even go down to minutes to hours to longer term if you wanted to. So that is pretty much it for the, um, for the offers. Now, the reason why you do an offer is you want to get a discount on the NFT. So I'm going to show you, I'll click on this one right here and you can see that these are all the offers that are coming through. So you have the, the highest bidder, which is 0.19. And then after that's 0.18 and then 0.1655 and so on. And it just keeps on going. Now these are people that put in offers. So, this is how it all works and it's just pretty much bidding onto it. And then the seller can accept it or he can just choose to wait till someone buys his NFT for the price that he listed it for. Now, personally, I like to use the offers because that you're, you're, you're liking, you're get you're actually increasing your chances of getting a discount on the NFT. And if you want to hold it for long term, you can hold it for long term. You got a good value. You got a good deal on it, or you could, do it for a flip or a quick flip or, you know, long term. So that was a little something about how the offers work. I hope that it helped you so you can figure out what you want to do. If you want to do the buy it now or make an offer, pretty much it's in your hands and you have that choice. And that's pretty much it, guys. I really hope that you liked it. Um, hope that you understood it and I hope you find your way. Take care. See you next time.